question number nine of just ended was 2023 the september addiction subjective questions we are to solve this under circle theory so in the diagram the a b c d are the point on the circle then the a d e and b c e are straight line a d e b c e are straight line then the angle mark DCE is 58, 56 degree. The angle mark ABE is also given to us 5X minus 16. The angle B, which is BAE, is also marked as 3 divided by 2X plus 4Y. So if the angle at the corner here, DCDE, the ratio of that angle and this 56 angle is in the form 7 is to 8. We have to find the angle A, E, B. And hence, find the value of X and Y in those angles. Alright, so looking at this, beginning with the first one, looking for this very angle. This very angle, I can see that I can truncate this diagram into only a triangle. Triangle C, D, E. If I take the triangle C, D, E, I'll be seeing here to be an angle, an angle, an angle. The sum of the three will give me 180 degrees. So this is what I'm looking for. Meaning the moment I know this very angle, I should be able to find this without problem. How will I find this? I can relate with that last statement here. That that very angle and this angle are in a ratio. So I can start from there. So since we are having this angle, DCE, the ratio of that with the angle CDE is given to us as 7 is to 8. We know ratio can be translated into fraction, or a ratio is a fraction. So this is going to be this CE divided by the angle CDE equal to 7 out of 8. And looking at it carefully, we are having one of the angles. They said D C E. D C E is known as 58, 56. So I only substitute 56, the angle C D E equal to 7 on 8. 1, 2, 3 is known. We can find it by doing cross multiplication. So this is multiplied. This is multiplied. So I'll be having 7 times the angle CDE equals to 56 times 8. What happens next? We divide by the 7 in order to have the angle isolated. CDE equals to that. We know 7 is a, a factor of 56. We go, it will be 8. So 8 times 8 will give us 64 degrees. So knowing here as 64, knowing here as 56, I believe we can find here. So we can say that from the triangle DEC, this very triangle, the one I am looking for, the angle AEB is going to be equal to 180 minus the very two angles that I just found, going to be 56 plus 64 so what do i get here 180 this will be 110 so 120 so the angle we are looking for will be 60 degrees this is 60 this is 56 this is 64 so we have found the first part of the question i believe the process that we pass through resonates well with you in order to provide the angle here. Now, the next thing to do is to find the values of X and Y in the very angle here and this angle. All right. Now, we need to also know that we can be able to add this and this very angle to be equal to 180. The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. So, I'll add this very angle plus this. 
to be 180. And this very angle is just 180 minus what? 56. So I can do that and get one equation. Similarly, this plus this will also be angles that will add up to 180. The cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles. And this very angle is just 180 minus the 64 that we had. That's one way. Good. But I'm looking at a shorter version. We say is that the angle between a tangent and a chord, the angle is equal to the angle in the opposite segment. So meaning this very angle is the same as this. This is a tangent starting at D with the chord CD. This very angle in this segment is equal to the angle in the opposite segment. So I can have that two equations to find my X and Y. I would prefer that than the simultaneous equation. So looking at this, this very angle, which we can describe as CDE, is equal to the angle here, which is the uh, angle in the other segment. 5X minus 16. I believe I know what this stands for, which is 64, given to us by our calculation. So 5x minus 16, we can add 16 to both sides. So 64 plus 16 equals to 5x. I believe 70, so we have 80 equals to 5x. If we add this, we are looking for x, so let's divide by the coefficient of x. And that simply means x will be equal to, going here, 1, 40. So we have what? 16, 30. Okay. So the value of x is known. And x is featured in the second angle. So I'll also say that using the other property, which make this very angle 56 equal to this. So I'll say the angle 56 is also equal to 3 on 2x plus 4y per the same definition that I used to find this. So what will I do? I substitute the value of x. 56, 3 on 2 times 16 plus 4y. So if you substitute, this is going to be computed. So right away from here, I'll be having 56 equals to 2 dividing 16. Times 3, 24 plus 4y. What do I do? Subtract 24 from both sides of the equation. So 56 minus 24 equals to 4y. I believe this from here will be 2, this will be 3. So 32 equals to 4y. You can agree that we did the y. So let's divide by 4. y will be going here. 8 times. Therefore, x is equal to 60 and your y is equal to 8. So if you substitute the x and the y, you know the value of this angle. If you put it here, you know the value of this angle. Don't forget, you still get 56 since this and this are the same. You get here 64, here will also be 64. So as I said earlier on, we can also use the cyclic quadrilateral. Try that one and see if you can get the value of your x to also be 16 and y being 8. Thank you so much for watching. I believe you enjoyed the lesson. If you do, like the video, share it with somebody who may need it. Sometimes you may come across this video which you don't need. But you know somebody on your contact list who need this video. Share with them and help them to subscribe for more of such videos. Bye-bye.